Hello guys, welcome to another video. My name is, as usual, Josh, and today I'm bringing to you, as requested, how to set up 2.4G radio system in the almost ready to run series from hobbyking.co.uk. Hobby King specialise in selling to you almost ready to run vehicles for a reasonable price of which you just need to add your own 2.4G radio system to and a battery and charger and then they're ready to go. So the first thing I've done is I've just installed the decals onto the body shell. Very very simple to do, there's a diagram inside the instruction manual, if you don't want to use that just go onto Google, Google what car you have and then just follow the stickers on the pictures, very very simple very very self explanatory. So once you've done that, next step you want to do is install the 2.4G radio system. Now it's completely up to you what radio system you choose to install, however I'd like to stick with the FlySky FSGT2 radio systems uh, from FlySky. I've got here 2.4G uh, radio from FlySky. Um, this is the receiver itself. As you can see, uh, these receivers are quite compact. They're very slim line, and so they're ideal for a vehicle like this because this won't need to be mounted in an area where there's a lot of room. So I'm just going to remove the body shell, and I'm going to first find somewhere suitable to mount this one. So this is a two-channel radio system, okay? And obviously you have two channels on the on the vehicle so you have the speed controller that's going to go into channel 2 because channel 2 is your throttle and then your steering is going to go into channel 1 because that's your steering channel okay so first thing we need to do is look at whereabouts we're going to mount the speed con the sorry whereabouts we're going to mount the receiver now having a look on here there's not many places to mount it it's a 1 16th scale car so in this case I'm just going to be looking to mount it probably on the top here okay probably just on the top there I'll use a double sided adhesive pad to mount it onto there I would try and avoid just mounting it for example onto there because this is much lower to the ground and if you go through a puddle obviously it's more likely to get your receiver wet if you mount it up here somewhere then obviously if you do go through a puddle then it's higher off the ground and there's less chance of it getting wet and breaking. Okay so I've got here a double sided adhesive pad from Hobby King. Okay I'm just going to pop my receiver onto the pad and just loosely draw around it so that we get the suit a good size for my receiver to stick onto here. Make sure you use a good quality sticky pad. If you use something cheap, it's just going to come off if it gets damp, and then your receiver is just going to be flapping around until you notice it. So if you can, what I would advise doing is, um, as I say, get a good quality pad, and then use as much of this as you can to get it to the right size in order to stick your receiver onto your um, body. So let's do it. So I'm going to peel off the sticky. Now I'm just going to mount my receiver on to there, okay? Just like that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug in my two channels. So as I say, um, this one into channel one and this one in to channel 2 like so okay so once those are in obviously you can have a little tidy up of the cables shortly what you now need to do is just thread your antenna you can see you've got an antenna hole here so this one needs to go underneath there pull that down pull that through and then it just needs to go back up through there. That might be a little bit tricky but with a bit of perseverance you'll have it through the hole in no time at all. Okay so once that's done you just need to bind your receiver to a transmitter. Now just on a side note if you have bought the a radio and transmitter set then chances are you probably won't need to bind your system. However if you do need to bind your system you need to insert your bind plug which looks just like this into channel number three like so. So what you need to do then is take your radio, you'll see it has a bind button just here on this FSGT2. 
So if you take a screwdriver, press in the bind button, and then apply the power. Okay, that didn't quite work. Let's try it again. And you'll see when you turn it on, you get this green LED flashing. This means that the transmitter is now in bind mode. Last step of this is you just need to do exactly the same procedure really with the car itself. You need to, there's a small bind button in the receiver there as well. You just need to press that and then apply the power. So we're just going to plug in a battery. This is already in the bind mode ready. We're going to plug in a battery. We're going to turn this one on and press the bind button whilst we turn it on. And then the transmitter and the receiver should bind together. Okay, so ready to go. So I'm going to press in the bind button. I'm going to turn it on. And then after a few moments with a few beeps, you will see the green LED stop flashing. And if we just check our controls, this one is working. Now, obviously, last thing to do is just check that your controls are going to work properly. So if you go left, you can see actually it's turning my steering right. So I'm just going to adjust my reverse switches onto them. And now left is left, right is right. Just going to quickly set the trims a little bit. And then, that one now is ready to go. Let's just check the throttle. And you can see this one is now ready to go. So very, very simple process in setting up these cars for the very first time. It's just a case of installing your radio system, threading the antenna, which I still need to do, and of course, applying the decals onto the body shell and just binding up the radio. And that's it. It's as simple as, as that. This car's gone from almost ready to run to now ready to run. Thanks very much for watching guys, more videos are coming soon. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to drop me a message down in the comments section below. And of course, as usual, don't forget to subscribe for more videos coming soon.